Have you ever wondered why it's sometimes difficult to move objects across a surface? Well, the answer lies in a fundamental force of nature called frictional force. In this video, we will explore what frictional force is, how it works, and its significance in our daily lives. So, let's get started. Frictional force is the force that opposes the relative motion or tendency of motion between two surfaces in contact. It occurs whenever there is an attempt to move one surface over another. To understand frictional force, we need to look at the microscopic level. Surfaces may appear smooth, but when observed closely, they have tiny irregularities or bumps. When two surfaces come into contact, these irregularities interlock with each other, creating resistance to motion. Frictional force always acts in a direction opposite to the applied force or the direction of motion. This means that it tries to prevent or slow down the motion of an object. There are different types of frictional force. The first one is static friction, which acts on objects at rest, preventing them from moving. For example, when you try to push a heavy box, the static frictional force between the box and the floor opposes your force, making it difficult to start the motion. Once the box starts moving, the static frictional force is replaced by kinetic frictional force, which acts on objects in motion. The amount of frictional force depends on factors such as the nature of the surfaces, the force pressing the surfaces together, and the roughness of the surfaces. Frictional force plays a crucial role in our daily lives. It allows us to walk without slipping, enables vehicles to stop, and helps us grip objects. For example, when you apply brakes on a bicycle, the frictional force between the brake pads and the wheel slows down the bike by converting its kinetic energy into heat. Even something as simple as riding with a pen relies on frictional force. The friction between the pen tip and the paper allows us to create legible marks. In sports, frictional force is essential for traction, allowing athletes to change direction, stop, and accelerate. However, there are situations where we want to reduce frictional force. In such cases, special footwear or substances are used to decrease the friction. Lubricants, such as oil or grease, are used to reduce friction between moving parts by creating a thin layer that separates the surfaces. Similarly, ball bearings are used in machines to minimize friction by allowing smooth rolling motion between two surfaces. And that's the basics of frictional force. It's a force that can both hinder and assist us in our daily activities. Understanding frictional force helps us design better machines, improve our movements, and navigate the world around us. So, next time you encounter friction, remember its role in making things move or stay put. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now!